hey welcome back to my channel it's simone here so if you guys remember a couple of videos ago i got a silk press in atlanta this is my first time really washing my hair since then i love to use the dove shampoo and a dove conditioner for my hair honestly it makes my curls pop and then i feel like it just makes my hair feel so much cleaner and softer so i only do one shampoo but i'm going to be doing two in this video because since my hair was my hair was straight for two weeks i use lots of edge control lots of products hairspray and so forth and so i really want to get all that gunk out of my hair here i am with my denman brush and the dove conditioner and i'm making sure that i spread this everywhere so i'm putting it on my scalp at the ends of my hair on my edges and there was a little bit of shedding as you can see next i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower i obviously love dove this is not sponsored i found this hemp sugar body scrub at walmart and it is amazing and it smells good and it feels good on your body so check it out now i'm gonna wash my conditioner out one of my favorite moisturizers is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I've been using this lotion for years. It's really you know, on the expensive side. It's about $10 a bottle, which to me is expensive, or $11 depending on where you buy it from. And I just have to have it. It smells good and it feels good on the body. It's cooling and so forth. So here are all the products that I'm going to be using today. I like to use this e.l.f. toner. I feel like it does work if you're just consistent with it and use it daily. Now I'm using the e.l.f. moisturizer, which also feels really good on my face. I have combination skin, but I try to get products that are mostly oil-free. I believe this is another e.l.f. product that I'm using on my face that also feels amazing. Now it's time to blow dry. I'm going to start off by doing the whole stretch method and then I'm going to go through the hair. Um, I'm about to braid my hair for this wig that you guys are going to see me slay. So, so my hair doesn't have to be super straight, but I like it to be straight enough so that it's easier to deal with when I am braiding. As you guys know, I have hand problems, so... So we have this wig from RPG. Obviously, we know RPG always kills it when it comes to the lace being super thin and transparent. Before I get started on the wig, I am using a ball cap method. Actually, it's a stocking, so it's a little bit thinner than the actual stocking cap that is meant for hairs. It's the one used, you know, for your legs. <laughs> so I'm using that today, and the only reason why I'm using it is because I did hair. It protects your edges. So we're going to try this out and see how you know if it does any damage now i didn't want to use gotta be glue spray so i used my garnier fructis extra volume hairspray which also works amazing is it as strong as gotta be glue no so you'll have to work very fast if you're going to use this product now i have my mousse which is the best mousse ever <laughs> And I use this for the baby hairs. Now, as I'm doing this whole process, you are going to see my lace lifting a little bit because, again, it's wet still. Um, I have not secured it yet. I'm just combing things in place. But we're going to be doing um, using a different product or tool, I should say, to hold the lace down, which you guys have seen on Instagram. It's nothing new. It's just something that everyone's using now. It's trending. So, hey, why not? Again, work very fast see this little thing right here this band the stretchy thing i'm gonna use that to just hold down my lace and my edges and to be honest this works better than that black paper that we all use with the foam you know whatever that thing is called it works better than a regular head tie so i actually love this method and it's not big it's small and so forth so i have my hot comb now i do want to make clear i did pluck this wig a little bit um it did not come like this but if you don't know how to pluck or don't want to pluck rpg is really good with that you don't have to actually pluck any of their wigs which is also the best part about their wigs that's part of the reason why they're expensive because the knots are bleached the wig is plucked everything is done for you already two hot tools i'm using is my hot comb and my curling iron which is the t3 curling iron it's amazing it gets super hot though so be very careful but it does the job and will make any wig hold a damn curl so here we are taking it off oh, it looks so good now Going back to the hairspray, it is not as firm and as strong 
as gotta be glue but this is this is something where if you want to just have a basic wig install and you want to take it off by tomorrow you don't want no long term anything you don't want it to be too flaky too scratchy whatever and you just want it on for the day or on for a day and a half use this product okay it's not really meant for long term but it does the job and it's not as harsh as gotta be glue so i loved my wig at this point i thought it looked amazing i don't think i put any trim like i didn't trim anything on this wig i don't feel like i did if i did it was very minimal because i didn't want to change anything really about the wig but it looks so good guys love 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 here i am putting hairspray in the actual hair so that my curls will stay in place i was actually going out right after this video so i was trying to make sure it looked good and would last side note this combo is so good it is oatmeal strawberries and this coconut whipped cream Ooh baby <laughs> this is also my first meal of the day i gotta stop doing that where i eat at 3 p.m or 4 p.m so um here i am getting ready to go out i was actually going somewhere called pasha in atlanta if you're not following me on tiktok you probably should because i am showing you guys all the hot spots all the cute spots all the trending spots in atlanta that i am finding or being invited to and so i really just give you guys a little tour of atlanta especially if you're new or visiting so definitely check out my tiktok it's simone sharice and i am just you know throwing out the jams on there i love tiktok i love youtube i love instagram but lately i've been focusing on instagram and tiktok mostly just because it's so much easier to put out content every day without the stress of feeling like it's not much thought process you know what i'm saying and it's like a it's it's just a little bit easier right now whereas youtube videos take a little bit more time but don't worry guys i keep saying i'm gonna hop back on it but it's just so hard to give my energy to all three social medias so since i already kind of built up youtube a little bit i'm trying to just build up the other one just in case because you never know what's gonna happen with these social medias so it's just nice to have an audience on all three so trying to hit 10k on tiktok by june so far i'm at 7,000, and my goal was 10k by june so let's try to get that before there please <laughs> anyway so my makeup routine has not really changed much well actually it has i don't know if it's for the better or for the worse but it's different it's different and i'm liking it you guys know i keep the same products some people choose some people use new products every video every time every i i can't do that once i love you i'm too loyal to change and i will use you until you are about to be expired so these products i don't think much of it is new if it is it's probably just benefit things that are sent to me um i use a lot of benefit products by the way uh it's just again it's it, one it's sent to me and two they're freaking good i used to love them when they were in sephora but you know they kind of pricey so being sent to me is even better but we are basically finished with this look i loved everything about it it was so cute and lately i'm trying to keep i'm trying to wear my wigs for longer than like one or two days so this week i think i wore for about five days and it was amazing so definitely check it out everything is down below in the description box bye y'all